The journey outward, the journey outward. The story of a single spark, born not from the soil beneath our feet, but from the boundless sky within the human mind. It is a story that does not begin on earth, but within the limitless expanse of imagination. A dream whispered by generations who lifted their eyes to the stars and wondered, what lies beyond? For as long as we have existed, we have looked upward, past the clouds, past the moon, past the edge of sight itself, and felt the quiet pull of the unknown. From that longing came a traveler. A creation unlike anything humanity had ever built or even dared to imagine. It was forged not merely from metal and circuitry, but from curiosity, courage, and a daring belief that knowledge is worth any distance. This traveler carried no crew, no banner, no map. It carried something far greater, the restless spirit of its makers, and the fragile hope of a world eager to be heard. This is Voyager 1, a gleam of gold and silver, a spark of human brilliance, the farthest object ever crafted by human hands. It sails through the dark, a silent messenger of Earth, bearing our memories, our voices, our story, into the unending night. It does not rest upon the Earth, nor circle the Moon, nor linger among the planets we call near. Instead, it journeys forward, alone, unyielding, wrapped in the stillness of eternity. Beyond Mars and Jupiter, past the cold rings of Saturn, Voyager drifts into a sea of shadows, a sea without maps, without borders, without the warmth of sunlight. Only the faint hum of infinity surrounds it, and the quiet echo of its own determination. In the summer of 1977, Voyager rose from the Earth, a fragile dream wrapped in courage and steel. It was small, no larger than a family car. Its power faint, its memory tiny, its eyes sharp and filled with wonder. Built with technology simpler than a child's calculator, it carried instruments no stronger than whispers, and yet its purpose was monumental. To reach beyond the cradle of Earth, to look upon worlds unseen, and to send their images home. It was guided by mathematics, by hope, and by the trembling hands of those who dared to believe that the human story did not end beneath one sky. Now, more than four decades later, Voyager has traveled over 22 billion kilometers from home, a distance so vast it humbles imagination. And still, it endures. Its signal, faint as dust, weaker than a candle seen from the moon, still travels across the black. Yet somehow, Earth still listens. Across deserts and plains, through the stillness of midnight observatories, giant radio dishes turn toward the stars, searching for a single heartbeat in an ocean of silence. Each pulse that returns is fragile, a whisper from the edge of the sun's reach, a memory carried across time and distance. A thread connecting who we were to who we still hope to become. Voyager's story is not about distance alone. It is about discovery, persistence, and wonder. It is about a tiny machine built by fragile beings that dared to challenge eternity. It is the story of Earth's first message to the stars, of a dream so vast it could not remain bound to one world. Voyager does not speak in words. It speaks in endurance, in the quiet persistence of a signal that refuses to fade. It is proof that humanity, though small and brief in the grand scale of the cosmos, possesses a will that can outlast silence, light that can pierce the dark. This is the beginning of that journey, the journey outward, into the endless night, where a single human creation sails on, carrying the story of us all. The cosmic legacy in the 1960s, a NASA engineer named Gary Flandro noticed a secret written in the heavens, a rare alignment of the outer planets. Between 1977 and 1980, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would align perfectly, an event that occurs only once every 176 years. Using their gravity, a single spacecraft could leap from one world to the next, each planet flinging it farther outward, like a stone skipping across a cosmic sea. NASA seized the moment. Two spacecraft were born, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, twin ambassadors of exploration and wonder. 
Voyager 2 launched first, cutting through the sky with fire and faith. Voyager 1 followed 15 days later, its path set toward the mysteries of the outer worlds. The mission was meant to last just four years, but destiny had other plans. At Jupiter, Voyager found a planet alive with motion, storms swirling in endless color, cyclones larger than Earth, lightning flashing across clouds like veins of fire. Then came Io, a moon once thought dead. Voyager revealed it as alive, its surface bursting with volcanoes that hurled molten rock into the void. At Saturn, Voyager's cameras uncovered rings more intricate than anyone had imagined, vast ribbons of ice and dust dancing in perfect cosmic harmony. Tiny moons carved paths through them, weaving patterns of light and shadow. Then came Titan, a world cloaked in orange haze. Voyager detected an atmosphere thick with organic molecules, echoes of the chemistry that once gave birth to life on Earth. Beyond Saturn, Voyager 2 pressed onward, into the cold, where sunlight fades to memory. It became the only spacecraft in history to visit Uranus and Neptune, two distant giants once seen only as blue dots in the night. At Uranus, it found a tilted ghostly world, its poles sideways, its magnetic field twisted, its pale clouds whispering secrets in silence. Then came Neptune, a sapphire giant of roaring winds and dark storms. On its moon Triton, Voyager witnessed geysers of frozen nitrogen, proof that even in the farthest shadows, worlds can still move and breathe. For the first time, distant points of light became living worlds, each one alive, complex, and beautiful. And all of it was achieved with technology simpler than a digital watch. Voyager's computers held only 68 kilobytes of memory. Its radio was no stronger than a household light bulb. Yet across billions of kilometers, its whisper still reached home. Then came the edge, the invisible border where the sun's warmth fades and the dominion of the stars begins. On August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the frontier where our star's breath ends and the interstellar winds begin. For the first time in history, a human creation stepped into another realm, interstellar space. Its instruments detected faint plasma waves, ripples of cosmic energy drifting through the dark like echoes upon a vast and endless ocean. Still, it moves outward, toward the distant Oort cloud, a halo of ancient comets encircling the solar system like a frozen crown. To pass through that silent region will take 30,000 years. By then, Earth will have changed beyond recognition. Mountains will crumble, continents will drift, languages and nations will rise and fade. Yet Voyager will remain, a lonely spark drifting through eternity, carrying the memory of the world that made it. Its power slowly fades, instrument by instrument, light by light, until one day, only silence will remain. But even that silence will not be the end. For Voyager carries something eternal, the golden record. A time capsule forged from gold and hope, a message not just to alien minds, but to time itself. Etched upon it are greetings in 55 languages, the sounds of our world, waves crashing, wind sighing, laughter of children, the heartbeat of humanity. There is music, from Bach to blind Willie Johnson, ancient chants to joyful songs a symphony of Earth woven into a single record. There are images too, of DNA and atoms, of forests, mountains, rivers, and cities, a portrait of Earth, a record of a world that once dreamed. The golden record is more than metal and sound, it is a love letter to the cosmos, a declaration that we lived, that we dreamed, that we reached beyond our home and dared to touch the infinite. Perhaps one distant day, another civilization, or our own descendants, will find Voyager drifting in the quiet dark. They will open that record and hear us, our laughter, our songs, our heartbeat. They will know that once, on a small blue world bathed in sunlight, life looked up, and wondered. Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft. 
It is a monument to curiosity, a symbol of persistence, a mirror of the human spirit. It transformed distant points of light into living worlds, and carried our questions to the edge of forever. Now, as it sails beyond the reach of any sun, Voyager drifts through the vastness, a silent envoy of Earth, whispering across the cosmic sea. What lies beyond the stars? Who are we truly? And will someone, somewhere,